Fora TV. The world is thinking. It's easier for me to just say what happened to me. I finally, so I flirted from eight to tw to eight to twenty-one, and finally I made this commitment, and I said, "I'm that's no more. I'm going to be a vegan." And um, and right away, what happened to me? The first thing that happened was I felt like this huge weight lifted off of me, like an energetic weight. And I don't know how to explain it other than to say that I was walking around lighter, like just felt lighter in my body and that was amazing and then people started to say to me what's going on with you you look your skin's glowing and you look so bright like what's happening and I was losing weight and I was thinking what's going on here and then I started to notice that my nails were getting really strong and I used to have the like I could bend my nails I cannot bend my nails no matter how hard I try now and all those white marks that some people call calcium marks other people call them sugar marks but whatever it is they're gone I don't have them anymore so um that was pretty amazing and uh, I just had more energy and when everyone I would be on the set working with was dropping like flies getting sick I wasn't getting sick and um, so anywho then I oh and then my allergist I had um, asthma and I had uh, what do you call it um, allergy shots twice a week for a very long time uh, probably from age 13 to about 21 and suddenly my allergist wrote me a letter an email and said I haven't seen you in a long time what's going on and I said oh well I went vegan about a year ago and I guess I didn't need to come anymore I just sort of forgot and he was like you know I hear that a lot and I thought how weird you hear that a lot but you didn't tell me that <laughs> like what's going on here and that happened to my cousin too he had a open heart something or another horrible at a young age and he went and I sent him a basket of vegetables and a bunch of um, instead of flowers and a bunch of because he's a hardcore meat eater and I sent him um, all this information on heart disease and how you can help yourself and he brought it to his doctor and he said my crazy cousin says that if I do this it's I don't have to be on all these medications and the doctor says she's right and he goes well then why didn't you tell me and he goes well would you do it and he was like, mm, I don't know. And so it's like this crazy thing that we all know that this really is the answer, but we're all just sort of slowly not doing it. And there are a lot of people that are. So Colin, Dr. Colin Campbell, Dr. Dean Ornish, Dr. John McDougall, um, there's Dr. Col uh, Caldwell Esselstein, a very famous heart surgeon. All these people are curing cancer, curing heart disease, curing diabetes, daily and um, these so this is not like some crazy idea that I had and I'm just sort of like woo you know there's hard science and medical research behind all of this and Einstein even thought it was a good idea and um, and anyway I list in the book all kinds of amazing thinkers and people that might inspire you that you would go wow that's such a beautiful quote I didn't know that that person said that or the fact that Bruce Lee was a vegetarian and he was an incredible athlete and that you look at this Robert Cheek is Robert Cheek here tonight no okay <laughs> um, but um, Robert Cheek is this uh, bodybuilder and he's in the book I call him one of my superheroes but I mean this man is rocked from head to toe and he you know he's purely plant-based diet so what I found on my journey was as I was getting so much healthier I was wondering why I didn't know about this like why didn't why is this happening to me because is this just good karma you know why am I feeling so amazing and then I started to do all this research and realize that this is the way people are living because they want there's a lot of athletes who do this just purely they don't care about the animals they don't care about the planet they're doing it for better performance